My name is Rodney Lilly, and uh, I'm the Director of Business and Finance. Been here since the inception of the school in 2002. Uh, the goal of Milestone Academy was to be able to uh, educate the students to be able to compete in a global world. It's more than just uh, the grade. It's the work that's being done. Um, it's the things that you can't measure. Um, we take a very a vested interest in our students. We are, well, my, myself, I'm very protective of all of them. I'm very caring, and I push them to strive for the best. And we don't just go up to those that um, are on level. We work with those who are below level. And for that reason, I think we meet the needs of all the children and that they are prepared. Um, I know that for myself, I have children on my planning period. I'm with special ed, and I have students that have left, gone to high school and college. And that's what I'm proud of, because they had a good foundation. They teach you stuff that you never learned before and make you really smart. Um, I feel as if I'm going to be ready in all my classes in high school. Like, all my teachers have taught me everything I need to know. So therefore, we presented them with their foundation. The role of a teacher is many hats. Counselor, mother, dad, teacher, social worker, friend, um, grandmother. <laughs> like, I used to get like bullied a little bit, and like I like go to my teachers or the social worker, and they help me out with that. And I like being in Miss Romaine class because she's the best teacher in the whole wide world. We learn, we work together, and we talk about our problems, and we work them out. They help us in groups and on a test when we don't get it. Well, just yesterday, the K-2 department, Miss St. Junior, she took the time, we had a child come to school with wet, soaking clothes. <laughs> Take the time to say, okay, he's not ready. We have to find clothes for him. We have to suit him, we have to feed him, and still engage him and try to educate him in spite of how we get him through the front door. They are kind when they play with us at recess. I'm playing hopscotch. I like to bring a lot of the old um, games in. I like playing freeze tag. Like tag or it. Tag or it. I like the lucky part. If I do supervise tag, um, because they could get a little physical with tag. Um, also, sometimes the girls like to do cheers, and sometimes I'll give them some of my um, cheers that I did, you know. And I just like playing with my friends because they make me happy. A few memories. Um, we, every year we have career day, college and career day. And um, I enjoy like the different colleges and high schools coming here and talking to us. Um, I also enjoy the plays that we have here, like all the fun activities they do for us. Most of all, they like to hug. I go in the classroom, they jump out, they see. I mean, not just me, they do it to the department heads. They like that, and when kids are always wanting you to hug and happy to see you, they're happy to be here. They know you care. Um, Milestone Academy, to me, was, uh, my dream was gonna be one of the top premier schools in, in, the, in the city of New Orleans. And uh, we've been fighting to make that dream come true. And uh, turn, the cards didn't turn out that way. Being here for nine years, it's a little bit hard because, um, like I said, I've been here nine years and we are sort of a family. So it's sort of like the family splitting up. For a long time, I was also known as a school psychologist or counselor, yeah, because my door was always open. And I would listen to anyone if they had anything to say because most of the time that's all they wanted was somebody to hear them. So uh, I was that ear. I feel sad because it's shutting down and I want it to be open forever so I can keep going to the school. I'm, I'm gonna cry. <laughs> Actually, my fondest memories every year, I get emotional the last day of school because I know some of the kids I will move on to another uh, school, but they may, they'll move on to a different grade at Milestone. And just to see from where they started to the progression that they made at the very end, I always get emotional. Like I, I get a little teary-eyed at the very because I don't want it to end. So it's just, it's just hurting to see where a lot of the parents finally found a place they call home, and now it's gone. 
What do you say to that? It's hard. I think it's sort of an injustice that the school is closing because we are serving a population of kids that a lot of people turn away and we have made milestones in their lives that they were learning. Uh, the culture here was one of family and empowerment. Um, emotionally it's hard, but I know for the kids, I have to be here for them all the time, 100%. Um, I would love for our school to stay because we are a vital part of the community, the New Orleans culture. I haven't had the time to put my hands or my thumbs in personalizing the school like I would like. I'm gonna miss a lot of the staff. Um, I'm gonna miss Milestone. Milestone holds some very precious memories for me. This actually, this year, is the year that I'm able to craft things um, like I would like, but then at the same time, we have challenges of what's going on um, you know, with the school. So it's been uh, a very different experience for me with that, with the transition. The scripture says, iron sharpens iron. I've been blessed to work with a group of professionals that are constantly pushing the envelope to incorporate the best practices dealing with first generation and low income students. All our fun, the learning, I've learned so much as a teacher from the staff and the children here. Um, they've taught me a lot to make me a better person, but especially a better teacher for my, my years to come. Uh, my hope for the students is they find one of the better schools out here, one that's going to uh, uh, challenge them academically and will ultimately succeed in educating them to compete in the global world. That's what we were going to do. Milestone will continue because the wings that we have given our students, they will fly out and remember the things that we have given them morally, morally and socially, that they will make the world a better place. To the students of Milestone Academy Charter School, I am proud of each and every one of you. Although our road at Milestone has ended, it is not the end of the road for you. You have many dreams, accomplishments, and a life journey to fulfill. Be bold, stand out, and make history. Give your best in everything that you do, and the best is yet to come. Thank you to the parents, board members, staff, and faculty for your unwavering dedication and commitment. It was an honor and pleasure to serve as your CEO. This is not the end, as I know that you will continue to educate, advocate, and support our students. We will have milestone forever in our hearts. Many blessings and bulldog pride, Lakeisha Rouge.